Welcome to the final film breakdown of the year. We're your film breaker downers. I've been work looking for a term there. That's the one. Breaker downers, Grant Collin, Jack Hammer, uh, Sports Illustrated, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. A lot of fans probably don't want to watch this. I don't know if we're going to get the views that we normally do. This was painful. This is a lot like the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. I remember what it was like to be a fan. I wouldn't be watching this right now. I'd be grieving. But if you are into that kind of thing, we're here for you. We're going to do offense today, and we're going to do defense later in the week because we need to examine them, too. They collapsed as well. Jack, how you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm all right. It's nice that I emotionally d divested myself of this team decades ago, so I wasn't affected by that one. That must have been hard. I know you're straddling the fence between journalist and fan, and I don't know if that pushed you in one direction or the other, but wow, I can only imagine how that felt in person to see that. Yeah, it, yeah, it was. It was good. There's an echo. Do you have an echo on your side? I don't have an echo on my side. I don't hear okay. one. All right, but no, it was. It was a. Uh, it was an interesting game. Uh, I had an interesting perspective uh, to, to watch the game from down there. Yeah. We can get into that later on. Uh, but been. but it was. Um, it was a. It was a game that the 49ers let slip out of their hands completely. Period. Yeah. Period. Period. Yeah. Ten point lead, fourth quarter. We're gonna get to it. Let's dive right in. Yeah. All right. Here we are. Uh, it's only 360p this week. Usually it's 720, but for whatever reason, it's still like processing. So sorry. Let's just embrace the low fineness of it. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna they're gonna come out here and try to run, and and they just look at the look at what what the the Rams are doing in front of them. They they're just loading the box up, and and Eric Weddle really plays like a linebacker throughout this game, uh, and, and really in a lot of ways just destroys look at that they have four four down linemen two guys standing up and one linebacker in the middle and Weddle's right down there too this is really tough That's to so run interesting against. to me because remember how they got shut the Rams got shut down in the Super Bowl by Bill Belichick the six the six man front yeah boom. yeah yeah first very, very funny. similar funny yeah okay so boom they, they present what was presented to them in the Super Bowl and do a good job hard to run against that yeah it really was the, the 49ers even when they had things blocked up, what, what it really did is it it just took away any explosive running plays from them. Yes. Good point. Good point. So they it's try. A, what are they doing here? Just, uh, ooh, that looks like power. Yeah, it's their, their power, power kind of counter play yeah. that they run. And uh, just just too many guys there. Watch. You're going to have the pull. Oh, the counter pull. play. He takes that counter step. Good call. Good call. Yep. They all block down, pulling out. and 20 there. 51 there. Yeah. There's – there's three. There's four guys there with two guys to block. It's just not. There's just nowhere to go. And real quick, not to belabor this play, but a lot of times what Kyle does in this situation, did it in Green Bay, is if you sell out like that, he'll just spread out, go empty backfield, and get Kittle one on one against Von Miller. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, and you didn't see that in this game very much. No, you didn't. It was it was an interesting game. I, I was surprised by by their. I was. I don't know. I was. I'd, I'd have to go the back lack and look. Of creativity. <laughs> Yeah, lack of creativity, lack, lack of, creativity. of yeah, lack of of trying to get the ball in the air on first down. I mean, they, yeah. they did it a little bit here and there, but it uh, conservative to the max, right? Yeah, that that's kind yeah. of the way that I I kind of felt. It's like they've been listening to our game preview. Like, gotta take the game out of Jimmy's hands. They're like, okay, I will, I will. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, 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 it's funny because you know I, I was been watching this back. You know, we talked about this last week against Green Bay, how the Packers were just un, un, uninfluenced by by motion. And uh, the Rams per were very much the same way this week. They, they didn't really are not paying any attention to, to motion from the 49ers. Check out this box here. Like, look at all those guys right yeah. within three yards of the line of scrimmage. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. And you see, you see Eric Weddle sitting right there in the hole between Von Miller and the, yep. and the, again. Yep. Jeez. I mean, look where 22 starts his play. I mean, I, he's a safety. Is he a linebacker? What is that? That's a, that's a safety. Wow. Yeah. See, there's nowhere for Debo to go. They just have too many guys up there, and then everything's yeah. flowing across. They're doing a good job of, of sticking. And one of the guys to really pay attention to that I don't think gets enough credit for the play that he had in this game is 91 for the Rams. He was really good in this game. Uh, Gaines, he did a yes, very good was. job of, of holding the, holding down the, the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, that was really important against the Niners. I mean, Kenny Clark showed that as well. Yes. Yeah, and that's and that's really kind of the, the thing here is that he played about as well as Kenny Clark did in that. And then here we go. This is the third down play, and this should be a touchdown. This is just yeah, a yeah. 
it, it's drawn up. It's just drawn up perfectly. And even where he places the ball, if it's caught right here, you're, he's leading him into a tackle. That ball needs to be more to the left. Um, you know, he's more to the left of the linebacker. He's got plenty of room there. See how Weddle's not even paying attention. He's down here looking at 15. He's got all this room to work the ball over to the left side and just let Kittle run to it. And instead, he just he just airmails it. You know, it's funny. I'm watching this and I'm thinking, what would I say if Nick Mullins did this? You know what I would say, right? I no, I'm not sure what you, I mean. I would. I mean, if this was the first throw of the game for Mullins, I'd make oh, every excuse. That's a tough. Oh, I, I see what you're saying because of, because throw. of the, the difficulty yeah, of it. He's think? not in rhythm. You know, I mean, this is the first throw you give him. Can't you give him a layup? I, that's yeah. what I would say. And like, I think the reason I don't make those excuses for Jimmy is he's supposed to be better, right? He's supposed to be one of the top pay players in the league. But really, I think the 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 difference between those two is not that huge. And same thing applies here. I mean, it's a, it's a lot to ask of a quarterback <laughs> like him who's injured, frankly, his first throw. I mean, yeah, he should have hit it, but uh, it's he did, this, he did, you know? <laughs> this is about as much of a layup, though. I know it's a downfield throw, but this is right down the right down the middle, and it's not even that long. We're only talking about 25 yards. It's about as easy of a layup. This, this is pretty, this is like a, this is like, you know, the warm ups when they're doing their warm ups and they're working on, they just have the guys running the phase down the sidelines. That's pretty much what this throw is, and he just, he just misses it. it there's just well, no, he doesn't really step into it. He sees Miller coming across and just, yeah, I think, I think Miller crossing and, and showing up right in his line of vision is part of the reason that he misses so bad. I'd like to think it, or otherwise he shouldn't have been playing and his, his thumb is messed up either way. No, I, I, I agree know. with you. I, I think yeah. that's a little bit of it. He's got Miller plus Donald's kind of coming up underneath him too. Yeah. And he's just not following through all the way. You can kind of see him kind of short arm it, which is why the ball sails on him, but it's, it's not good. That's a, that should be a touch. That should be, that should be a touchdown. That goes back to like I know I know it's a long time ago, but like the '92 NFC Championship game against the the, oh, the Cowboys. If you remember, you were really young then. But yeah, I was. Young, Steve Young hits Jerry uh, Jerry Rice for a touchdown on the first possession of the game, and it gets called back for a because of a penalty. Oh, uh, you know, and, and this is kind of the same situation. You have a touchdown here, and he just miss it. And then you you're playing against a great team. You can't. You can't give away opportunities like that. I don't know if it would have been a touchdown, but they definitely would have got tackled at the fifty at the at best for the Rams. And maybe if he breaks that tackle, he's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah. I could see George Kittle stiff arm that guy making a play. Yeah, so that's a really bad throw. Bad start to the game for mm-hmm. Jimmy. Okay, next drive. Yeah, and, and he's going to open this zero zero. Okay. Yeah, zero zero because they get the they get the interceptions. This is right after the Jimmy Ward uh, interception in the end zone, and this is just a typical. It's a first down throw. throw. Yeah, they came right back. They came right off it, and it's nice, you know, nice, easy first down throw. And it's it's right what he likes to do over the middle. It's open. Ayuk, absolutely. They they converge on on Mitchell there underneath. Boom, mm-hmm. Ayuk's open. Great, nice. Should have been more of that. Yeah, there should have been. A, there's there's a, a number of throws in this game, uh, especially in these first three series or. These first two series, there's the, there's the one in the, the early you talked about earlier. There's gonna be another yeah. one coming up. That yeah, the that's points nice. were there were points there, but that's a really nice throw. Yeah, absolutely. First and ten. Let's see what they do here. Run. Yeah, it's gonna be a run to the left with with yeah. uh, with Mitchell. Yeah. Toss. Yeah. Again, just you know, look at the look at the box. Everybody's. Oh. Everybody's within like three yards of the line of scrimmage at the snap, you know. Oof. And and this is They're a play where forward, right? Look at that. And, and and if you watch this, he breaks the line of scrimmage. It's Eric Weddle, Weddle coming from the backside that makes a tackle. They just have too many guys in the box. I mean, I don't know if I, if I were Mike McDaniel in the booth, I'd be saying to Kyle, Kyle, we got to do play action. We got to do play action. Look at I, I agree. I agree because they're gonna they're gonna win at the point of attack right here. Watch, boom, yeah. boom. Yeah. He's through the line, but there's nobody there to block Whittle. There's just too many people. And I agree with you. It's something that I said to the guy that was standing next to me during the game was I don't I don't what? know why they're not running some play action here. I mean, those linebackers are selling out. Like that's usually what Kyle Kyle's so good at taking what the defense gives him. But I think Jimmy with the interceptions and everyone talking about winning in spite of him, he really really tried to take the game out of his hands. It was a, if you're afraid of your quarterback throwing a pick, you're going to call runs like this in the nine man boxes. And it's not good for your team. And I, hopefully next year, Kyle won't have this fear of Lance throwing picks and he'll actually take what the defense gives him. Cause look at this front here. That's another six man front. Yeah. No, it's another six man front. This is going to be a pass. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> I would think so. 
but and and they actually get you know decent protection, and that's yeah. a good job. I this was a good job by Garoppolo of checking it down to yeah, uh, good decision. No one else is open to twenty five. You can see him trying to look down the middle of the field and then having to come off to the check down. They should throw to twenty five more. They threw it to him a few times in this game. He had to, they they had to, I liked I know, it. three three completions. I, 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 less carries, more more targets. I mean, twenty carries a game is too much for this guy, in my opinion. I would like fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> and three targets. I mean, I think he's – I like throwing screens to him. He's quick. Yeah, especially he's, with the – I think yeah. that's what you might see next year. I have a feeling that they're going to try to bring Raheem Oster back. I would love that if he could, if his knee could physically hold up. Yeah. You know, and then this is what we see them do all the time, right? They motion into the into the toss, but just look at all the bodies that are there. They still – look. they have the Waiting three. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all those guys that are over there. Weddle's playing 10 yards off the ball. He's keyed in on the run. He's not, you know, yeah. that's what his his responsibility yeah. in this game really was was to. And look at these that. linebackers move with Werner as he's going. It's like they're you think they're prepared for this play? Yeah, they went over the, practice? They, we've talked about this so many times, right? Do you know that they're not going to run yeah. when they go in motion? They don't really run the other way, and if they do run the other way, it's usually going to be off of a toss. Yeah, action you know, with the motion and then they're going to be cutting back and they've got that covered with 91 and 94 and 40 on the backside. Plus Weddle spine it from behind and slow playing yeah. it. See, cause, cause Weddle's running, running the alley and then he's actually the guy that ends up helping make the tackle. See that? Yes. Yep. But it's like, look at 51. The, the Since he knows where the run is going, as soon as the motion happens, He's able to move, and now uh, Mac, who's supposed to block him, can't. Right, and with the way that, well, and plus with the way, you know, again, they have all that stuff going on play side, and then they've got it covered up backside with, with their their defensive end and the tackle that's there over, as well, and then the safety coming down. They've got all these guys flowing from behind. It's very similar to what we saw last week from Green Bay's defense with how they were able to shut the run down. Yeah, absolutely. See, I knew it. We only have two hundred eighty-three people watching. This is like torture for Niner fans. I'm sorry. <laughs> And I appreciate the people who are watching because those are a different kind of fan. You guys really want to know what happened. I want to know what happened, but I'm not a fan. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, and then this is a, a nice little run to the left side. They they do a decent job on that one, but again, it's just there's just so many bodies there. This is one I think. When we, when we watch this, we're going to see him bounce off. He's it's going to be there, and he, he runs into the back of him right there. See that? Yeah. So it slows him down just a little bit. He just didn't get get his cut quick enough we got third and six in rams territory yeah i think this is a miss here i think he needs to try to throw this ball to jennings he's got you know he's oh. got weddle kind of spying inside though if he throws that ball up over the top and oh he put yeah you can't throw he, this to Ayuk. i remember this during the game whatever you can't throw this one to Ayuk. no you can't throw the Ayuk. they've got they've got everybody spying and everybody's readers just falling right into that spot you know, and Weddle's kind of in position, but I tell you, I, I just have a feeling like if he just puts air underneath this ball to to fifteen, yeah, it, it's gonna, yeah, yeah, it's gonna get over the top of him. I would think so. So that's possible. It's hard to know because Jimmy lets the lets the ball go here, and we we don't know how the defense reacts. Either that, or throw the ball away, check it down to use check on the left. I mean, there's better options in this. Yeah, they're just sitting there. Even even down here, they, the way that they've got because they're playing zone down here, they've got. They're kind of giving you that underneath thing with with uh, Jalen Ramsey sitting there with his eyes on Garoppolo, we're just waiting for him to throw the flat. Oof. And I, this was, I feel like, what Aikman was talking about last week in Green Bay too, like these dangerous throws to the flat, or it's not the flat, but out to the sideline. Oof. Yeah, yeah, it's just a you know, there's just there's just nothing. He he, he didn't really. There's no. a, just some some interesting throws early on and missed missed opportunities and that's that's another one i know that's the throw down the middle to the jennings is going to be tight yeah but, just, but, it's, but it's less tight than this though i mean really right right that's yeah because right <laughs> put, put the ball, put, if free. you put if you just put the ball up high you know with where 20 is playing he's going to have to turn and run he's not going to catch jennings and, and worst case scenario he's going to have to interfere yeah. with them or grab them and you get a penalty you, you just don't even get the shot down the field to the, the uh and that's one of the things that I'm looking forward to next year. Yeah, good call. Okay. Uh, next drive. And what is the situation? Still zero, seven zero. Okay. Yeah. So now they scored. They scored, and this is where the Fournaires are gonna gonna come back, and they're gonna come right back down the field. The Fournaires' offense. It's, it's crazy the way this game played out because they just didn't. The 
the Rams just ran so much time off the clock. So they start off here with yeah. the little screen and it was like three to one in the first half, I think, something like that. Yeah, well, it, it yeah. pretty much was until the last possession. It was forty two right. to fourteen before the last possession. And then right, you know, this is a nice little nice job by uh, the Rams of coming up and, and shutting it down here the first yeah. one of the game. Yeah. The Niners have already figured out that Debo's not going to be able to penetrate the six man front. He's gotta they gotta get him the ball outside in the perimeter and they're they're trying. And we know how this is gonna end up, but that was the first attempt. Yeah, the and then yeah, you know, so and we so look at again you again you've got the, the the boxes full, but you finally get a shot down the field and, and he hits it and uh it's just too bad that Ayuk isn't able to maintain his balance and, and yeah and, and stay in bounds because that this is on Ayuk at the top of the play. I mean, I understand he's getting bumped and he's kind of having losing his balance, but he's got to gain him gain himself underneath him before he runs out of bounds right there. That's a touchdown. Yeah. Because that the where the where he catches the ball, it's not on Garoppolo that is going out of bounds. He gets he gets tripped up a little bit by the defender, but because look at all the space he's got, thrown. it is he just gets tripped. He just gets tripped a little bit. Yeah, he just gets tripped up, and he just got to try to gain himself a little, you know, take a little bit more time. I understand what he's doing, but that was yeah. a that was a again that's another missed opportunity. That's yeah. that's that's the opportunity that that Tampa Bay hit the week before. They get the long throw for the touchdown to to Evans. Yeah. Uh, in this one, they just don't get well, it. I mean, good play by gonna, eleven. Good play by it, eleven it, to, to affect the play. It is, it is, and they're going <laughs> to score, and they're going to score a touchdown here anyway. So it doesn't really matter because they they on this drive. So yeah. we're beating, I'm beating a dead horse. I'll stop now. It's a nice throw. I wanted to point that out. One of the nicer throws Jimmy's made as a Niner. You don't see him make those type of throws often. No, you don't. And that was a that. And you're right. That was a really good throw. And then they they get the false start here on on 71. Yeah. There was almost a delay. Yeah. So now you got what? First and fifteen. Yeah, first and fifteen, and then they're gonna run it for for a couple here. Oof. Again, look at the box. Look at all the linebackers. Just everyone on the top of the screen coming in pretty hard. You, I, the fact that they didn't hit him with play action is astounding, and I think it's something I'm expecting to see with Trey Lance next year. I don't know. Maybe it's all imaginary in my mind but i would think they would do play action with trey lance yeah and we're, and we're gonna see a little bit of, of play action but it, it's still it's it's not i was expecting to see more of it yarkish darkish says jack is my favorite guest on the grant cone channel never gets any love this is for you jack oh and you too grant you're cool yeah, jack <laughs> Thank is you. a man <laughs> thanks yeah and then this is this is the this is the touchdown right here and this is just all debo right here this is this amazing, is amazing. Let's count the people he makes miss. This is a fun game to play with Debo. Okay, he catches the ball here. Let's say one, that guy yep. with his little yep. arm out. One. Uh, is this two, three? Two, two or th- – is that two or three? 54? 54 wasn't even – that's two. 54 doesn't get him, and he uh, skips four, through there, and five. that guy's trying to grab him the whole way. He can't get him, and then – Jesus. Yeah, no, that was an f- unbelievable play. If I had a vote for the MVP in the NFL this year, I'd vote for this man. Who else does stuff like this? It's crazy. Oh my god! Talk about balance. Yeah, that was that was an amazing play. Oh my god! Wow. I didn't get to see Jerry Rice in his prime in the eighties, but I get to see Debo in his prime. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. I'm He's not saying good. Jerry Rice. I know. I know Jerry Rice was was one of one, but uh-huh. this is fun too. Yeah, and then right here they they take over after the missed field goal. It's you know two minute under it's two minute situation, and uh, they're gonna try wow. to get it. To, but but again, there's 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 nothing there. They're doing it. The- and as you pointed out, the motion. They never run away from the motion. It's a really good point. Everyone starts moving with it. So what's how is that motion helping you? If everyone knows that it's leading you to the ball, it's a good point. Yeah. Once 15 starts going, watch 50. Yeah. All you got to do is have your – you just got to have a couple guys that sit on – that stay back and stay home, and that's what the, the Rams did – the Packers did a really yeah. good job of staying home last week, and, and the Rams did a really good job this week. And then oh. just a, a crushing hit here. Oh. You can see it. First, did they do this again later in the game? No. This was the only hospital ball of the game. That I know of, that I, okay, I okay. remember off the top. Cause, yeah. Okay, okay. Because I was trying to think, like, why didn't he get the ball in the fourth quarter? And I was thinking, well, he got he got hit right before the fourth quarter. No, it was it was early, right? 
Yeah, well, the, we'll get we'll get to it, but he doesn't get he gets the ball early in the fourth quarter. Okay. And we're then, already at the end of the first half. Wow, that that went fast because the because the freaking Rams had the ball the entire time, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah they only yeah. ran twenty plays. Right. Of course. Okay, yep. so we're all the way at the end of the first half, and this is right. Okay, what do you think of this from from what happens? No, the ball's the ball's just a uh, it's just a little late. Ball needs to be out of his hands quicker. He needs – he, he's uh, – Samuel's already cut and running before he throws it. He's got to get that ball out of, at the at the break point, and it's a little late watch because the ball needs to be out right now. See how far yeah, he's yeah. traveling across the field before the ball comes out? You could see the middle of the field was wide open. So from like the view that I saw, as soon as that linebacker steps up, that ball should be coming right yeah. off the back – right off of his ear. It's just late right now. Right. Yeah, it's like take a quick – just balls out and throw now, and he takes an extra shuffle, and then he holds it for a second, and, and then he throws. Yeah, so it came takes, right away. Yeah, yeah, it, it should be right right now. Yeah. Ball should be coming right out to him. Yeah. To, to. Okay. All and right, then so they pick, was, up, was big. pick up the flags too. Yeah. Right, because it was just a good hit. Yeah. Got in the chest. All yeah. right. And they're gonna pick it up here. This is where you get the you finally get a one on one matchup for Kittle. Like we saw last week, and it's a, a nice first down. Yeah. And he has – they're kind of running – both those guys are running the same routes. Him and, Yeah, Jennings was open too. Yeah, it's just a matter of choosing which side you want to work. He decides to work to Kittle. The, the Kittle route's a little bit more open too. Yeah. I'm so, I'm shocked that Jimmy Garoppolo would choose the Kittle side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's his guy. Trent Shurfield on the field, not sure why, and that would come back to hurt them later. Nothing against Trent Shurfield, but you don't use him all year, and then he's on the field, not going to get the ball, not sure what his function is on the field. That that would confuse me. And he had a he, they pretty much blame the season on him. I don't know if you heard it today, but they're like, that second and one play, there's a missed block. Yeah, Shurfield. And that's like, Kyle can always pinpoint it to one missed execution on one play that changed everything. I, it's remarkable. So well, Shurfield, we'll get – We'll yeah, get there because I, I have some things to say about that one too because he's right on that, but uh, but there's more to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, there always is. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is First a nice down. check, nice job of checking it down to Hasty. Yeah, nice job of moving in the pocket too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are we still in the first half here? Yes. Yeah, we are. We're still on that last drive right before. Because okay. uh, someone on my last stream said to look at thirteen twenty eight in the third quarter. Watch Ayuk. So I'm trying not to forget that it's coming up. Okay. I don't know. They didn't say why, so I don't know. I'm assuming he's going to be open. We'll see. Oh, I yeah, I know exactly what he's talking about. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then and then this was a nice one right here. Look at that. See, now that's that's more like it, right? That's kind right. of watch because this ball time. Comes, yeah. yeah comes right 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 off the ear of the of the linebacker. And Is when that he caught that, yeah. yeah, when he caught this from where I was watching the game, I thought he was going to break it free and and. Uh, Ayuk isn't doesn't quite have the ability of Debo to like break tackles. He doesn't. He just. He no. doesn't. He doesn't. Ha he's not quite the. Debo wouldn't go down there. Yeah, but Debo's the best player in the league. I'm just saying. Yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. Yeah. No, he does. He, he's not the yeah. run after a catch. No. No. Okay. Threat. No, absolutely not. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Watch for this angle. Time on the money. Tripped up again. Does he hand the ball to ref though? Does he, is he smarter than Dak Prescott? No, he throws it to Mac to Alex Mac. Oh, Alex Mac! No, no, don't give it to me. <laughs> All right. Here we go. But Max, 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 turns and Max. hands it, hands it to him. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe that's how they do it. Maybe he hands it to Mac, and he, maybe maybe that's how they're supposed to do. It. I don't know. Who knows? All right, here we go. <laughs> second and ten. Good protection. Well, for a second. Now, not good protection, but good scramble. Yeah, everything's off on that one. Because if you look at the snap of the ball, Ayuk doesn't even move. Oh. oh. He's like, oh, Oops. snap, football? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not great. Um, Kittle blocking. Yeah, nowhere to go. Yeah, there's just nowhere to not go. And then yeah. he does a good job to pick up four and then – they they kick the field goal. It's it's crazy that they go into the halftime at ten to, at uh, with a ten to seven lead. They run twenty two less plays and have the ball for under ten minutes in the first half, and they're going to go in with the lead. It's it's absolutely wild. It's amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of been the story of their season. Unexplainable <laughs> circumstances <laughs> like that. 
Yeah. I want to go back to the Debo Hospital ball. Someone over here saying that Kittle was wide open. I guess we should look. This is third quarter here? This is the beginning of the third quarter, yes. Okay, so let's go back to that throw real quick. It wasn't that far back here. It was the second down. Second and eight. There you go. Real quick, let's watch Kittle. Nah, hard to say because I think I saw that too. But Ramsey again reacts to the throw, which is already out. Like he sees it, and now he stops. Maybe he was. It was one on one. If you like that matchup, one on one against Ramsey. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, because but Ram- I Debo's I, open. Like that's he's the first. You got to go to Debo there. It's I mean, like, if you're, I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're the quarterback, I'm throwing that ball the 19, but yeah. it's just late. I'd rather throw. It yeah, it, it, it's wide open, and uh, okay, yeah. I just wanted to see it. People in the, pointed it out. Fair to fair to examine. Okay, yeah, first and third quarter. Yep. And they're going to come play action right here, and I really don't like this. See, like See this, 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 this is your uh, halftime adjustment. We really got to do some play action. <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't like where he goes with this ball. This ball, he he gets play action. He gets outside of outside of Kittle. He's got plenty of time to stop and set his feet and throw the ball. He's got the guy down the field wide open. Not wide open, but open. And, and instead, he, he throws this thing into Are you... coverage. Oh, yeah. Debo. Yeah, he's, he's waiting for Debo, and now he tries to throw that little pass as opposed to giving Jennings a chance down the field. Yeah, I, I'd rather see him take us – just set, set your feet. Plant your feet quick and, and and take that shot down the field and let it and let your uh, receiver have a one on one opportunity down there. Ten, ten Garoppolo doesn't really have that ability all that right, you know, but especially with his thumb injury. Yeah, but where he's located on the field, he he's, he's he doesn't have to keep. I know he's Bad throws, he's yeah. rushing himself a little bit. He's rushing himself he here. I mean, theoretically, you have that throw, but it's a tough one because you're moving in opposite directions and you're probably going to throw behind him and you throw behind him. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm Mm-hmm. But what you're saying is, look at Jennings in the bottom of the screen. I mean, you have Jennings, who's six foot three, one on one against that dude, who's like, who he looks like he's five foot two on the field. He looks five foot two on the field. Does he not? I don't know. He's <laughs> really short on film. I don't know who that guy. He's probably five nine. But damn. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that. I'd, I'd like to think that Lance will be the kind of quarterback who uh, takes that shot. But I don't know. We'll we'll see. Yeah, you'd yeah. hope you, you'd hope dream. to. I'm, we've seen the dream. This yeah. is this play that they just ran right there is very similar to the to the deep shots that we saw Trey Lance hit against Houston. The only difference is instead of running the corner post, they're running a post corner with with um with Jennings, and the ball just doesn't come out to him. Puts his arm up too. He wanted it real quick. Noah says uh, terrible on third down on both sides. Couldn't run the ball. Outscored thirteen nothing in the fourth. Officially the third season of watching you, Grant. Can't wait for the next. Thanks, Noah. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, uh, that's well, he's, next year should be very it's even more exciting than this one. I'm excited. All right, let's keep going. The excitement is palpable. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then they get it. This is a nice run here by D. What you're going to see, a, he, he finally get a little bit of something going. But uh, yeah. but again, the the safeties are, are right there. Like the their job, but the, the safeties are doing with getting up into the run game and, and limiting them to, you know, six yards here. That's one of their better runs of the day. It did. It felt like it felt like when you saw him pick up six right there. It felt like it was a a big run. Absolutely. Um, real quick, George says that's a throw that Trey Lance will definitely take. Jimmy G does not throw deep. That's what makes the Niners' offense limited. I cannot wait for Trey. People are excited. That people are excited. Yeah. yeah no, I, I, my, and I understand my, that. My biggest week on YouTube all year was uh, the Houston Texans week, by far. Yeah. Not by far, but <laughs> but definitely, people are excited for the change. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fun to watch. It's gonna be fun to watch. I hope it's not a letdown, but I don't think it will be. I don't know. It depends uh, on each person's expectations, I guess. I wouldn't expect to be set up to let, see. I think. I don't. I don't know if I would expect to be let down. It's gonna take them a little bit of time to get their feet underneath them. But we've seen, right. we've seen them play good with him on the field. There's a drop off. There's a little bit of a drop off between these two guys when it comes to their throwing at times. But yeah, I think. I think okay. That, so now they got something going, Jack. It'll work. Yeah. Well, this is the play that they. This is kind of similar to what they run later on, um, with Elijah Mitchell, uh, in the fourth quarter. They're going to bring. Eighty-five is going to come around. He doesn't have to get up the hole. He instead kind of blocks down. No motion, too. Mm-hmm. No motion. 
51 over pursues, runs out of the play. Brunskill takes care of him. Boom. Nice yeah, line. nice tackle by Jennings. But yeah. th- this is <laughs> this is that's a play they're going to come back to it in the fourth quarter because that's a, that's a really good running play. What the one they just got nine yards on? Yeah, they're going to cut this. Is that's the second the, one. It's like they, it's like uh, foreshadowing, right? It's the same play. Yeah, it's, it's the, the same, same play. play. It's the same situation. And now, what do they do on second and one here? Okay, they do power counter. It's a, it's a counter. Counter. Yes. It's, a, it's an inside counter. Inside counter, and they get. A yard, and they pick up the first down. Yeah, and and that's exactly what they do at the end of the game, and they win. They go to the Super Bowl, and everyone lives happily ever after. Wait, <laughs> wait, oh, no, what happened? <laughs> oh yeah. man, interesting. This is a good call, though. Yeah, it would have. You know, it, it, it's 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 a good call, and it's executed. It's well, executed well. Trent Williams and pain on the ground, gutting it out. Tough dude. Guy looks painful. Yeah, he was definitely limited a little yeah. bit. All right, here we go. A lot of pressure on this one. I think they're gonna tr- they're gonna try some play action here, and they're gonna get a lot of pressure on them. Yeah. Wow, they actually did play action. <laughs> you got. <laughs> oh. you got to go back and watch tra- uh, Tom Compton. Holy oh, no. moly! Tom, Tom. No, not, no, that's not Tom Compton. I'm sorry, that's Daniel Brunskill. Ooh, Daniel. Watch Daniel. Dang, Daniel. Dang, watch Daniel. Him. Okay, let's watch this. Watch this. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I was watching yeah. this angle. It's worse from oh. this angle. Oh no! <laughs> Poor Daniel. <laughs> oh, no. and, and, and he throws the ball away. Good job, right? I want to take credit for that. <laughs> I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo knew you're allowed to throw the ball out of bounds until this week, and he was like, well, "Is Grant right about that?" Yes. Oh, I'm going to do that next week. That was, <laughs> this was a very good play by him. Beautiful. It was. And it's it's all you know, it's all out of necessity because the offensive line just getting blown into his lap. And then this is the play that they're probably telling you to watch. This this is a touch tempo and he just misses it. Oh, okay. He's, he, he, he's got yeah. this is gonna be it's gonna be a twelve yard completion to uh to Elijah Mitchell, but he's got Ayuk right down the middle and tr- and doesn't Uh-oh. pull the trigger. Oh no. Oh, look at how you jump up and down too. He does that to Jimmy a lot. I think that I think that's why he was in the doghouse. Stuff like this, the little hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, yeah. I oh. I, I was yeah. with him because because yeah. I'm standing there and I'm watching this game and I see him running right. and the completions over here. I wasn't even paying attention to where the ball went. I knew he caught it, but I'm like, he's wide open. All right, now let's watch Jimmy and try to get inside Jimmy's brain. So where are you looking right now? You're looking. He at looks at the Brandon. safety. He, he glances at the safety and then comes off of it. He's off it already. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And, you know, I think this is why some Niner fans are going to be like, look, man, we won a lot with you, but I'm tired of this. Insta check down. What was that? Yeah. And it's a it's a nice gain. And it was it was obvious that they're that this was a part of their game plan to get the get these throws to the running back. But I mean, when you have when, when you have this open, you know, and we've had this conversation a number of times, you and I were taking a check down here is OK. You're getting a plus. You're getting positive. You're getting a first down. But it, you gotta when you see something like that and you see a bigger throw, yeah. you know I, I recognize it. And then at that point in my head, I'm saying, okay, now let's see how this drive finishes out. Because if it's a touchdown and he's able to make up for this, and no where they score no points, points, then you yeah. kind of say, okay, no, yeah, yeah. But Whatever. then he did it his way, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> like, right. It's not, but uh-huh. no, it's not a touchdown. You know, and because there's no, there's, I mean. If you watch that play, Eric Weddle's not even paying attention to him. The backside safety has his back turned to him, and it's there. He just needs to throw it. What gets me about this, though, is it's not a check down. It's a predetermined read. I mean, he just tries to hold the safety for a second, but he wants to go to the running back all the way. Yeah, my opinion. He did, yeah, you know, he, that's definitely what it looks like because he just kind yeah. of tries to hold. I think all he's trying to do is hold the linebackers in the middle just for a minute. I think it's really the yeah. linebackers that he's trying to hold. Yeah, I agree. Real quick, George says, yep. I don't understand. Kyle Shanahan was dominating in the middle of the field the whole game. Why did he stop? The Rams linebackers could not stop them in the passing game. Uh, that's a good question. I, good I don't question. know. Let's keep watching. We got we got another half of uh, the film to watch. Another fifteen minutes in slow motion. Okay, they run away from the from the motion here, but it doesn't work. Just yeah, a there's... lot of people swarm him. Gets tackled by the entire defense. Nice. Yeah, look at. Uh... 93 just steps, pushes 25 back, just drives them into the backfield. Oh, 
Wow. Just, Lake and Tomlinson. Wow. Yeah. They're just not getting any push. They're to line of scrimmage. Yeah. This team is pretty, probably pretty exhausted. I mean, they play a ton of road games. I was tired. I didn't even go to this game. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't make it. <laughs> right. Right. No, they, they, uh, this game played out a lot like the 2013 game up in Seattle where they're winning into the fourth quarter and then they just kind of fall apart in the end. And that's kind of what happened here. Yeah. Yeah. It had a 2013 vibe this season. The vibes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what's his face was open though. Oh man. They actually took a shot on a wheel route with Debo from the, from the end off oh, from the, I didn't see it. I didn't know. Yeah. He would have been open. open. They didn't have time. Right. Yeah. No, the watch. I mean, yeah, no, there's no, there's no chance. Look at the, the pocket. Just, just, Look at Trent Williams. Back, you can tell Trent, Trent Williams was a liability in this game. And, and yeah. it's 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 great that he tried to go, but he, he just wasn't himself. No. I mean, look at 54. He can't just, put any weight in his right foot. No, and 54 just drives him right back. Oof. Yikes. It's like that clip from two years ago when Bosa and D4 did that to uh, the Rams. Yeah. Oh, geez, Tom Compton, dude. You got to do better than that, man. Yeah, both, both tackles are just getting walked right, just get walked right back into him. No chance, and it's a good, good throwaway. Yeah, thank goodness he did not throw do like this. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my god, and he held onto the ball with his messed up thumb. Nice, that's a great play though. Honestly, I was gonna give Jimmy Garoppolo so much like backhanded praise if they won for throwing the ball away and not throwing a pick, but then he threw a pick. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can't do it. I was ready to do it. I thought they were gonna win, Jack. I, I, they were gonna win. Yeah, when they Couldn't when they fast. Yeah, and then this one right here, this is a this is a this is a big play right here. It's third and third and uh ten, I think it is. Ninety one. And yeah, ninety one makes the play. It's open and you're wondering why that ball's over his head so bad, but you can see it bobbling. Ninety one gives his hand up and tips it. And this is Kyle Kyle's called this play hundreds of it's, times since I've been watching the film. It's wide open. The slant out of the trips. Yep, it's wide open. It usually works. Mm -hmm. And it's tip. That's the yeah. Chris Jones tip right there. Symmetry. Time is a flat circle. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> so this time it's Mac, though, instead of Brian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not Mike person this time. All right. Yeah, this is the this is the play that I think this is the play that I saw earlier today where where this is uh, where they're running Debo here to the to the left side and, and he takes us out. But watch watch the hole in the middle. He he bounces this. This needs to be cut up inside the holes there. The hole's there for a big gain. Watch. Boom, boom. Right there. See that hole in the crease? Let's see. If he cuts it right inside right now. See the yeah. hole? See it right yes. there? Right through the maybe middle of the something. field. Yeah, he could get up to twenty at least. Yeah. Or maybe he could cut back all the way um, and get past 50. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. If he takes yeah. this right here and he's got to cut yeah. that back, cut that he back. Have run. Block there, yeah, it's yeah. true. You got what's his face coming around? Donald. You can, Donald, yeah. But if he cuts that up, if he cuts that yeah. up when he needs to and gets up true. the field and, and runs like a running back instead of a, yeah. a, a wide back, wide receiver. Yeah, wide back. He, he, he would, I think he can get through the second level and he's up to the safety. I think so. I think you're right. Nice block back. there by Kittle, too. He bounces it too wide, misses the hole. Yeah. Real quick, we got a comment um, from Gizmo Maltese saying, we're not Jimmy fans. We just have realistic expectations for rookie quarterbacks. Rookies rarely play as well as mediocre starters, e.g. Jimmy their first year. I hope Lance is an exception. Well, um, the good thing the good thing about that is Lance won't be a rookie next year. Yeah, and the other thing, I just felt like, yeah, usually rookies don't succeed. But I feel like usually rookies don't get to play on teams like the Niners. And this rookie didn't get to either. But by the, I mean, in the second start, he looked pretty good. It was, it was just the Texans. But I just feel like most quarterbacks are going to look good on this team. That's the way I, I mean, I don't think that much of Jimmy. Jimmy looks good on this team most of the time because it's a hell of a team. <laughs> what does it not yeah. have? I mean, well, it, he, I mean it, 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 it's a pretty good team. That's all I'm saying. It's a, it's a pretty good team. And, and, yeah. and Lance, Lance is a decent quarterback. And, and yeah. he's, he got Doesn't a chance to be a to top five quarterback in the league, but he's definitely set up for success, just like Jimmy is, just like Mullins was. Yeah, no, he's definitely, I think, yeah. set up to, to come I in mean, and, and succeed. Unless the whole team gets hurt like it did a couple years ago, but it didn't happen this year. Yeah. All right, here we go. Toss split belly, like this play. Again, to Debo. Yeah. Usually he's supposed to cut it back, right? But he's got 91 in his face, 51 in his face, runs over him. Jesus. 
just again another example of just a line, the safety's being in the way. It's, yeah. it's a nice, really nice run on his part, though. Yeah. Third and five. This could be a, a nice little completion here to uh, Ayuk. Ayuk. Very similar to what they did earlier in the game. Yep. Very similar route to when they were trying when they were kind of trying to get themselves rolling. Ayuk is such a good third down receiver, um, as opposed to Debo. Nothing against Debo, but I just even if it's tight coverage, Ayuk has those long arms. He makes good contested catches. Jennings too. Mm-hmm. Debo's great, but like I, I he he drops the ball. He's got short arms. I just trust Ayuk on third down like this. Boom. I don't know. Yeah, no, I agree with you. No, that Almost we've talked about this. If you know, Ayuk has the best hands on the team. Yeah. He's good. Debo's the best guy after the catch. Um, yes. 15 is, is, is really good as well. He, but it, it, you know, he's not it's be interesting to see how he gets integrated next year. He's going to get a lot of balls next year. I think uh, Jennings Teen, Yeah. Yes. He's good. He might get 45, 50 targets next year. Is this the play here where, uh, where 75 and 60 run into each other? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so who messed that up? <laughs> Definitely seventy five. Yeah, seventy five yeah. went the seventy five went the Ooh. wrong way. He just blocked Daniel Brunskill. <laughs> oh no, this team's tired, man. I'm sorry, that's a team that's exhausted, mentally exhausted. It's that's, a lot. That's rough. Rough. That's rough. <laughs> that's a rough right, here we right have. So we're still third quarter, uh, up three, second eleven. Yeah, second eleven, and they're gonna they're gonna pick up a first down here on a little screen to the left to to Debo. Always a good call. Yeah. Always a good call. With all that pressure they're giving them, you know, it's something they probably could, should have run about 20 times because I agree. It, it's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's all there. You know, the, there. you've got seven, eight guys inside of this little box, which means you don't have very many out there. It, it, you know, it's a, it's a situation where, you know, they, they run, they, run, yeah, they, they run this, they run their sweeps so much. Right. Yeah. And, uh, we've we've seen the 49ers where they try to run, where they like run jet sweeps. And one of the things with running like jet sweeps, if you're in high school level or even throughout, is that you're just trying to get t- guys tired out and get them running, right? Mm-hmm. Just throw it out there, get make him catch the ball and and make him make yeah. tackles. And Debo make Samuel, yeah, should be able to sh- should have should have had five or six of these in the game. Not yeah. not because I mean one of them went for a touchdown. Four. What if he had what? If, yeah, what if he had six or seven? Got to had two mm-hmm. touchdowns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotta give the guy some some at bats. Give him some abs. To use a a baseball metaphor. Gotta yeah. Give him some ops. It's 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 one. It's the one thing that when you go back and we get to the fourth quarter that it, it's that's yeah. You know they, like, they why, why are you calling anything but that? They had they had the time to be yeah. patient and work their way down the field and they weren't. Yes. Hmm. That's how Kyle Shanahan is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so here you hand off again into this Sometimes. brick wall. Just for the sake of you know ball security. Yeah, there's just nobody there. No one there. Look at that. There's just nowhere to go. They're no. just they're went into the line of scrimmage all across the board. They're they're look at 94 is playing on the other sideline of scrimmage. Look at uh, George uh, George Kittle yeah. just gets beat here. Yeah, he does. But that's a tough. That's a tough. Uh, it's a tough block. Way bigger than him. It's a tough block, and that he's got to step down. But he he's got to win that block. Yeah. Yeah, real quick, Jacob Mayhew says, what's up, Grant and Jack? Glad I can catch the film review. FYI, Grant, I'm making the shirt as we speak. Can I get a shirt size so I can send one your way? Play the kid. Play the kid. Uh, <laughs> sure, I'm an adult large. That'd be great. I want to <laughs> yeah. make some money off that, man. That's great. I love that. All right, keep going. Let's go. Where are we? Where are we? Let's see. We are at second to 10, 402, third quarter. Yep. He's going to go to Debo here. Okay. Debo doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Yep. Did you see that? <laughs> like, what? 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 Does he call timeout here? It nope. looks like he's trying to. <laughs> yeah. So now he calls his own plays and he calls timeout, doesn't really know the route. And, and, it, and then he's open. He just misses yeah. them. That's so funny. He's like, all right, I'll just run to the area. Uh, 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 okay. It's yeah. hard, hard to blame Jimmy when Debo Samuel clearly has no idea what the play is. And then, he, and then he's and then he's got him open and he just misses him. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> Look at that. He's right in front of you. Looks uh-huh. bad from this angle. How do you miss that? Where do you where do you think he's going? Okay. Well. Yeah. yeah a... Sloppy. Mm-hmm. 
Real quick, uh, George says, can honestly see that Trent Williams was not himself. That ankle was bothering him. Debo did not have his explosion. Everybody was tired. The team needed Jimmy. He didn't show up. I'm glad he's gone. Uh, <laughs> that took a turn. I do think everyone was tired. I think it was inevitable to see it coming. I'm surprised it took this long. I, I think that they were tired, but I think that at the same time, I don't I don't think that Debo lacked his explosion. He was he had the explosion. They just didn't give him the ball enough. This was not a real Shanahan unstoppable offense. I think our O line held us back. We had to keep Kittle in the block. We had to run more. O line lost us this game only fifty yards rushing. What do you think? Uh, I, Thank you. I understand where he's coming from. I disagree when you look at the balls that were missed by by Garoppolo. Uh, hmm. But I, I think there was, you know, you go back to the first throw of the game. It needed to be complete. That's a big yeah. play. That's that's missed. The the yeah. missed the the no throw to um, to Brandon Ayuk. Those are big yeah. plays. Yeah. Also, the one that you pointed out, Jennings opened deep when he forced the ball to uh, Ayuk underneath. That's three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is a really this nice is catch from Jennings. By Jen- I, I was so impressed by this play. Like, you catch the ball. I mean, it's a nice throw shirt, but like, you catch the ball two, three yards away from the first down marker. You get hit, knocked backwards, spin around, guy in your face, spin around again. That's I love that. I love this guy. I love this guy. Yeah, it's awesome. this guy. he does a great job of finishing that playoff. So he, he He's like a tight end with the ball in his hands a little bit, although he's skinnier, but he's just so physical. He's got a little tight end to him. Yeah, that's a, that's a heck of a catch because that's definitely behind him. You can see it; it was it's wide open, and he just he's a little late because he's looking to the left side. By the time he comes back, he's just a, a tick late, and the ball's behind him. Yep, it's a really nice, nice catch. catch. Oh, that's great, great play. Nice. He's really turned into a nice receiver. He has. He's way better than Sanu, who Kyle Shanahan freaking loves. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a yeah he's a, at this stage of Sanu's career for sure. And then, and then here, I mean, I, there's just no, I don't know why you're Tom running this Compton. play. Yeah, Tom Compton, but I don't know why you're running the, look at, look where he's running the ball though. They're running this, they're running the split belly zone where they're trying to get him up into the middle and look at, look at where they're going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Exactly. Still though, Tom. Yeah. If Mike McGlinchey did this, I would make eight different blog posts about it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tom. Did I see a, a, a good right tackle? They had one, Trent Brown, man. Never happened to that guy. Anyway. I think he won a couple Super Bowls. Yeah, I think so. All right. Oh, well. Maybe next time. <laughs> and then there, here, this is the touchdown to Kittle, and he's got him open for a little bit. It takes him a little while to, to, to see it. There's there it finally comes out. and nice really throw. nice. Yeah, really nice throw. Good placement. Good catch by Kittle. Yeah. At this point of the game, you're thinking it's over 17. You know, you're up by 10 yeah. points, and it's you're winding down the – you know, it's going to be late in the third quarter. There's about 20 minutes left to go in the game at this point, and and you're up by 10, and you're feeling really good, really good about things. Yeah, yeah. You you're know. thinking, I mean, Kyle Shanahan, 10 point lead, fourth quarter. He's got this. Right, and then next next time, you know, and then the Rams go right down the field. You get the touchdown to open up yeah. the fourth quarter, and and then you're still in a good position though, right here, right? Because you're up three, you've got the ball, you don't get a really good kick return here by by Debo, so you're pinned back. But right. you get a nice, you get a really nice play from Garoppolo here to start this drive. He does a really nice job of, of buying a little bit of time and getting this ball out to uh, the twenty-five for a gain of twenty-one. Yeah, again throwing to Mitchell, who I think should get thrown to more. He's really, I think, a good receiver. Anyway, um, I wanted to just point out that Trent Williams is getting moved. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That right foot, he can't put any real weight on it. He can't anchor down. Uh, and that was one of my one of the things that I talked about on Friday, or during my pregame thing, was people were at one point I was I was talking about it because it's almost like you know you're glad that this guy is playing, but is 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 it better to have a, an injured Trent Williams on the field than a than a fully healthy Colton McKivitz? You'd and, think and, so, but like if it's a high ankle sprain, I think I'd take Colton McKivitz. Right. Well, and as you watch this game, that's kind of the feeling that I get too. Is that yeah. he's he's almost more of a liability than he was a help, and that's just a poor throw by Garoppolo. Yeah, this one was. I had to actually rewind this twice during it. Uh, like how, what? How? Yeah, he just <laughs> he just skips it to him. Did you try to bring it back? Like what? Anyway, I, okay. He's just trying to get the ball out too fast and throws it. Was there? The 
was there a potential there for a yeah, yeah well, okay I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a short game because I don't know I don't yeah. see him doing a whole lot in the one on one situation there. But then they do they come back and this is a nice play from you got Debo Samuel out of the backfield. This yep. is what they did last week against yes uh, against uh, very similar to what they did last week against Green Bay. Nice twelve yard gain gets you out the midfield. You know you're you're burning clock. There's about eleven minutes to go in the game now. Yes. And then, and then this is, if you just pause it really quick, because this sets up, this is, this is the turning point of the game, or is this next series of plays, you've, we're going to see three offensive plays and, and this is where, it, where it turns. You've got the ball at just out, just, just on your side of the field, first and 10, and they're going to run up the middle. And this is the run they ran earlier to Debo where he picked up nine. This time nine. they're going to run it with two. They're going to run it with Mitchell and they're going to pick up nine. Really nice yeah. block by – they do a really good job on the play side, and, and Kittle does a good job of coming around and, and getting up to uh, to Weddle. One of the things as you watch this, watch Kittle as he comes. He fakes like he's going inside and then comes back to Weddle because watch, he keeps his eyes inside, and then boom. Yeah. That's really really nice. 25 does a really good job getting upfield, and, and you get nine yards on on first down. And like like Shanahan said today, you know, you get this play, and now they're going to come back with the, on the, on the same play, right? He's like, okay, well, like he talked about today, I think Jake asked him the question, and he says, well – it was a good play on first down. I want. I ran the same play. The next play, we just flipped it. But it's it, it's the same run, but you're asking guys to do different things. And instead, on this one, you're asking instead of it being Kittle that's going to get the Weddle, it's going to be fifteen eighty one. Look at where they're lined up, and and there's no way that Sherfield's going to get to Weddle going around fifty four. That's impossible. That's impossible. He needs to go underneath that, and it almost it's almost like it, there's just no way that he's going to get there. Wow. It is the same. It's the same run. It's exactly the same run, except for 81 can't get there because of the, the way that they're lined up. Let's go back to the last one. It's, you know, it's on a different formation, but hold on, you know, but again, yeah. four, what, 44 is going to block out. You bring the guy up inside That's to serious. get the line, right? Yeah. yeah. So what they do is they bring him between the guard and the tackle. Let's see what mm -hmm. they do here. And he's too far away. He's, he's too he's, far away. He can't insert. Yes, he's too, no. he's too far. He's not able to get down. There's no way that he's going to get around 54. It's yeah, it's it's he needs to be. It's either it's either an alignment issue on 81's part or it's a a, a play design. Fully design issue. play, yeah. Yeah, one of those two things. And I just thank you, Ryan. Thank you very much, Ryan. I appreciate you. Yeah, and I just don't like that. And then on this one here, you know, I've heard, I've heard a lot of people talk about this one, and they're they're going to bring Williams in motion. Which okay, I understand. The, I understand everything about what they're doing here, but. The Rams don't just just the Rams don't react to it, yep. and sixty just gets beat. Watch sixty get beat by by ninety one, and ninety one makes the tackle. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the the thought of this play call right here is if you remember in Green Bay they ran this they ran a similar play to this in Green Bay with Hughes check, and he yeah. picks up fourteen yards. Right. Yeah. yeah. This week they come back to that same run, but they throw in the wrinkle of, of Williams going in motion. They think they're going to get some some movement because of the, the motion from from him. The Rams don't even look at him. And then 90, 60 just gets beat. Real quick, I just noticed, though, like we're at second and one. So first down, first these three plays. So first down, like Debo's on the field. He's on the top of the screen, right? That's Debo. He doesn't get the ball. No. Debo's up top. He doesn't get the ball. You get nine yards. Well, I just want to watch. Like, Does anything happen to him here? No, no, no. Okay, next play, not on the field. Yep. No, Shurfield, he's... Why? Why is Sherfield on the field? It should be Debo. Or so anyway, I don't understand that. I don't get that. And then and then on third and two, where the hell is Debo? What, what is that? It's your best of the MVP of the league. What are you doing? It's like not having Steph Curry on the court for the fun, for like crucial sequence in the fourth quarter. What are you doing? Now that they, they took yeah, they took Debo Samuel out and put Trent Williams in. You know, in this in this in this position. It, yo. No, it was Debo in the game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, I can, I can, I, I understand the thought process that he went through. I don't like the play call because it's a little too cute for me in that situation. 
The second down play call, I, I understand again, I understand his thought process and that we just ran for, for nine. We're going to come back and run the same thing the other way, but you're doing it out of a different formation. You're doing it out of a lot of different things. And you need I would, to make a key block here. And who the hell is Trent Shurfield? You haven't used him all year. Now you need him to make a key block in the fourth quarter. In, in, this, situ in this situation right here, Grant, it's second and one. You just need to get a first down and keep the yeah. clock rolling. Yes. Run Honestly. the quarterback sneak. Yeah, something, just, whatever. Yes. The, just run I, the yes. Yes. Because you've been so good at it all year long, yeah. and they just kind of yeah. they went away from they it in the second. It. They, they ran. They, they went away from it the last two weeks. And if you they just run a quarterback agree. sneak, you get a first down. You're probably going to pick up three yards. I agree. And and you're and you're you're still rolling. You don't have to worry about Sherfield making a mistake. You don't have to worry about any of these guys making a mistake. Just let your big boys push, and let your quarterback fall forward and get a first down for I you. I totally agree. Um, that's the right call here. I just want to notice we're, we're subtopic here. We're we're watching their non-usage of Debo in the fourth quarter, because that's amazing too. And just wanted to point out this crucial sequence, like he's not even on the field, back-to-back -back plays. He's, I, I don't think he's hurt. Very strange. Mm -hmm. Very strange. Can't can't happen. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't watch the Bill Walsh, but I would imagine that there I wouldn't find sequences in the fourth quarter of big games where Jerry's just not on the field. I just, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, and there's no there's no reason for I don't no see for I, I I don't understand if there's a reason for uh, conditioning is phenomenal. Yeah. What are you doing here? Okay, so this is just you try to get the well, hold on. What are we doing here? Fourth down. Yeah, but third down. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Fourth well, down. we we showed the third down. That was the yeah. the handoff to. Uh, and they just do the thing, and all right, first. Yeah. Okay, so now and it's now, time. And then you have that whole defensive sequence that where Jim Washington drops the interception. Yep, and then. You come here, and this is this one is open, or at least it oh, felt boy. like it was open. Ayuk, like, yeah, he's got Ayuk. I don't, you know, he's got Ayuk, and he's just he's just locked in on on Kittle, so he's holding on the ball too long, and he gets hit. He's, it, I don't know, I, we, we have to watch this one from the behind to see his, his head, but I think he's throwing the ball here to Kittle. By the time he gets it out of his hands and he's getting hit as he throws, it's like it looks. Let's see. Okay, so he gets the ball and looks at. It looks like defender. he's looking. Looks like he's looking right to right to where she, to, this ball should be coming out behind, right over the shoulder of fifty to the left side of it. He's like he's looking side. at Ayuk, right? That's what it looks like. And then it, it's almost like he feels pressure, and he just decides he's gonna. Yeah, he comes off of it. Oh, right, he sees he sees Tomlinson get beat, and immediately says, "Okay, where's where's Kittle? Where's Kittle? That's Aaron Donald. Fair enough. Uh, and gets hit. Yeah, and he gets but, hit as he's throwing. And we can't see where Ayuk is, but let's look at it again." He's wide open. He's wide open if he throws the ball now. It, it, just uh, right, right now. I mean, yeah. It's it's there. It's it's tough. It's tough, but yeah, I'm and, with you on that. Yeah. And then and then after There's that Yeah, and then after that they just get beat. I mean they're just they're just being pressured everywhere. I don't understand. Good time to throw a screen to Debo. <laughs> oh, that's the delay of game. That's yeah, another one. Kyle, how do you not call one of your three timeouts here? How do you take a delay game penalty on your own 25? Why? Why? I don't get that. I'm sorry. Is that the right play there? I should have asked. I should have asked. But I wasn't there at COVID. I don't know. <laughs> How do you – oh, well, second and 15. Now you're already – now you're a hole. That's a no good. That depot's in the backfield here. Kind of open, too. But you throw the ball away. What happened? No, my God. This no, play. Oh my God. This yeah, play. it just it just I mean you watch it right like right. Kittle or I you take a pick, take your pick. Jennings. Yeah, and he wants to throw that the dig route to Tyuk, but he gets the Ayuk. pressure and he pulls the ball down. And now he starts running and he's got Ayuk. Look at Ayuk just just wide open all the way and the until he finally decides to throw it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Somebody, uh -huh. I think, if you go back to this one, was go back for the to the wide angle. Yeah, because there were I've heard people also talk about uh, Jennings being open, and he is. Yeah. Jennings sees a motion, and he takes off up the field, which is doesn't yeah. matter. It would have been an it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't ah. count anyway. Right, Jennings. I didn't see it until right now, but he steps yeah. out of bounds. He steps out of bounds. Oh, so it doesn't matter. Bounds. Good point. Set that about. Oh, definitely out of bounds. Yeah, he, no, it's, to me, just right. dude, throw the ball to Debo, man. He's the best player on the team. He's not getting the ball in the fourth quarter. Can you let him do something special like he's done all year, please? I mean, I know there's people in front of him, but you never know what's going to happen when Debo gets the ball. I'll take my chances with getting Debo the ball. That would be my play call if I was Kyle. Give yeah, the ball to Debo. Break. 
He's got he's got eleven open up there if he just throws it. Yeah. Tomlinson gets driven back into his lap. Ball needs to come out. Just throw a quick pass to freaking Devo. Just throw every freaking play in the fourth quarter should be screen Texas route screen yeah, but, handoff. But, but go back to it though, and 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 we're we're gonna this ball needs to be out right now, yeah. right now, right throw yeah. the ball. Throw and, the ball. And watch, you, could and, throw, you could throw the ball to Ayuk right here. Look yes. at Ayuk. You can see him. You can Ayuk, see him right there. Ayuk, yeah. Ayuk is coming open, and he's and he's there. But instead, Garoppolo is, is. Yeah. And I know we're watching it in super slow motion, but even in, in, if you watch it in fast motion, it's it's still there. Oh, that's really, really quite frightening. Okay, third and 15. Real quick, pause. Ryan Blocker says, if this is the third down, almost picked up Ramsey. Look at Zedding so open down the field to Rodgers through uh, Aaron Jones and Green Bay. Yes, but he went out of bounds, which yeah, is it's interesting. A- yeah, it would have been illegal touching if he yeah. had really just go. throw the ball to Ayuk on time, please. Yeah, and, that, and then well, you got third and fifteen, and and nothing nothing says win this game oh, more than on third and fifteen throwing the ball to. Uh, oh, to my to, that's where you want the ball going. Now Jennings is open, but he can't get the ball to him because he's facing the other direction. Yeah, sprint the other way. Yeah, sprint the other way. So wow. But again, you know, we've we've everything oh, my, about. Oh man! I mean, what the hell is that? The game on the line. You do this. Oh my god, sixty. Well, that's a yeah. good point. I didn't even look at. It. He's not even moving. Oh. oh my god! Look at this. Game on the line. You do this shit. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Oh, that's terrible. That's freaking awful. Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, one more time. What happened? Did fifty yeah. just snap the ball before anyone knew? Or 66, no, every, every, everybody, well, 77, 75 and 71 and 50 knew what was going on. 66 knew what was going on. 44 didn't. 85 didn't. Um, that's weird. Uh, not even Jimmy's fault on that one. Damn. No, I I think when we watch this, you know, I don't know. When I watched this game live, I didn't feel like it was Garoppolo's fault on these last two series. I know people want to rip him for these these incompletions and the interception, but he's running around because he's got the, he, there's an offensive line just, Awful, awful, and 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 again, going back to what we talked about earlier, what I said to you, you know, they had they had plenty of time. There was no reason to be doing anything other than taking the easy throws, yeah, to 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 Debo or what have you. He tries to do it here. Ninety one does it again. Ninety one, yeah. ninety one wrecked this game for the 49ers. He did in a lot of ways. He did. He had, you know, he, he knocks down the third down play. He gets the play there again. You know, the third down play earlier to Kittle, he tipped, right? He 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 gets up the field there on the, the previous third down. Now he knocks this ball down. He just had a heck of a game. Same way. The same thing happened in the Super Bowl, though, Jack. I mean, Jimmy I stunk you. in the Super Bowl, but so did the offensive line, right? I mean, Person, Garland, they were awful. Were they not? Yeah, no, they they were they were, and we don't talk about that anymore because they're not quarterbacks. But they definitely shared in the blame in the Super Bowl. And watching the the film right now definitely reminds me. I mean, the offensive line has been really bad. Jimmy's been running for his life. Uh, he made the one play worse throwing it to Ramsey, but the one play where half the line didn't know the ball had been snapped—that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I didn't notice that live. Did not notice that live. Wow. Yeah, and then and then it happens again here. They're gonna what? They're gonna get. Pre- it's a home game for you guys. How? What's the excuse? Okay, what we got? You check it down. It's kind of open. Oh, so is Ramsey's there. What do you think? The, the throw here, the throw here should have been down here to George Kittle. To Kittle, yeah, I feel that. I agree. It, but it, yeah, I, don't I think agree. his feet were ever set up to, to yeah, go there. Yeah, that's an easier gain than the one the Debo with. Yeah, with Ramsey. You know, he's right there. Yeah, he's wide open. Yeah, he's you know four yards behind a line of scrimmage too, but I think he he's got more room be- up the field once he catches it. Go back to the start of the play and let's see if he even works the right side at all. Exactly, that's pretty- I wanted to look. Yeah, let's see. No, quickly looks at Hasty. I want to say. Yeah, I think yeah. he's looking at Hasty right there. He's looking at the middle. He looks to Hasty right there, and then yeah, he's just all yeah. over. Yeah, he didn't see Kittle. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's a loss. Or that's a, yeah, loss. Loss of three. Yeah, and this is the interception. They're going to get pressure on him pretty quick. Just 
Oof, Brent Skill again? Yeah. Yeah, just but then yeah, I guess to me it's a bad decision to do this. At least give yourself a chance on fourth and on fourth and a million. Um, I know you're trying to get rid of the ball, but dude. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, because even if he catches the ball right there, it's 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 a non. It's yeah, a, do that it's on a fourth down. Do that on it's fourth a, down. Yeah, not yeah. not on you, third down. But okay. hold on, let's watch, let's watch the offensive line first because they got <laughs> this happens with the sixty, dude. Well, all of them. Hold on. 75? No, 71. 60, 71. 71. He shouldn't have been playing this game, Jack. He should I, not have been playing this game, Jack. 71. I, there was, there was a reason that he didn't practice all week. It, oh, I didn't notice this, and I just assumed that he plays well. Damn, he should have been playing this game. That was a, that was a, that was a bad decision. Should have been Colton. I mean, I respect, I respect Trent Williams for trying, but it's not his decision. It's Kyle. Wow! Look at Trent Williams. Should have been playing one leg. Wow. Yeah, no, and I and I, I agree with you on what you just said right there. I I, I respect him trying to gut it out and play, it's and that's why. Yeah. I mean, you were in a you were in a win or go home game in week eighteen, yep. and you sat the guy. There's no difference between wait he wait he that game and this yep. one. I agree. And he, he this just needs a more take, serious injury. I think it's his freaking. It's his leg. leg. You need it's to. You need tibia or whatever. Who's the boss? Right. I mean, yeah. you take the. You got to make the decision that it works best for your team. That was very interesting. Jimmy, I mean, what I remember, what stuck out to me live was the interception and the one that bounced off Ramsey. And those are bad decisions, but they were on the heels of some horrendous pass protection that I didn't register live. And it's interesting to see, one, that they didn't all – no, the snap had happened, and two, Trent Williams really should have been playing. That was that was illuminating. Wow. Yeah, yeah. For for me, it was it was the first play of the game, the first throw of the game throw. that he misses down the field, and the throw down the middle that he doesn't take to Tyu. I didn't see the one to Jennings as a you know early, but I, I see it here on the film. But those the, those other two were, were plays that I missed, and I, I I watched the game from the end zone in a different view, like right down the middle of the field. And so I had a really good view of everything I felt from where I was sitting. The, the view that I had of the game was very similar to what we looked at right now, that end zone view they show from yes. the camera. Yeah. And, and that's, per, that's why I stood there because I wanted to be able to see what I, what was happening. Yeah. And it was, it was a, a really good view of it. And the only thing that, that I, I can say is that he didn't play well, but he didn't play as bad as I think some people are, are saying. I think the, if you look at the first half, it was eight of four, eight of 12, they have the lead. Second yeah. half, they're eight of 12. They have a four point lead. Yeah. One thing that I don't like that I've heard be said is that Shanahan played scared at the end of the game and took the ball out of his hands because he was afraid of what Garoppolo was going to do. I don't agree with that at all because they opened up the drive after LA scores to, to pull it within three with three state throws. Mm -hmm. They get a big run on first down. And then I, I, the, the next two runs aren't because of Garoppolo, and he said that today. What I didn't like about this, the reason I gave Garoppolo a D for this game, I know QBR gave him a very good grade. It was like a 70 or something. And I understand, to me, I was grading him for his fourth quarter. Like, that's, like this is the season on the line, 10-point lead. I'm, I'm grading you for choking is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> and watching it again, I mean, there was, I, to me, to me that the throw to Ramsey, that's that's – not bad. That's, bad. That's choking. The the the, mm -hmm. the flip is choking. Just like messing up the shift in Dallas, but it wasn't all him for sure. It was very much the offense. And and it's Kyle. It's Kyle who choked because the fact that Debo seemingly got one touch in the fourth quarter is essentially on Kyle. And what you pointed out before the fourth quarter, okay, your offensive line has fallen apart. Every single play could be a tunnel screen to Debo outside. Why why are you even messing with that? And that's on him. So I'm with you on that, dude. They it didn't. They didn't have to have those sequence of plays, right? Especially the second, to. the the second to last possession, right? That one you still have like two minutes to go in the game. Take your time. Settle take down. It. You don't have to make big plays. Don't Just, take a delay a game penalty. Right. Well, Throw think, screen. Think Get of Zebo. Think, think, <laughs> think of think 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 of think back. Think through the season and think back to week two in Philly. Your offense is struggling. You yep. are not protecting the quarterback. And you go ninety yards for a touchdown at the, at the end of the first sec first half, yep. running screen plays to set up before you hit the big throw, yep. and they had it open for him to do it. And yeah. this is what Kyle Shanahan does, though. Yes, he did it in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and I know people are going to say he made the right choice to throw instead of run at the end of that Super Bowl, but they're wrong. Right, wrong. 
he, yeah. he did the same thing in the Super Bowl with the 49ers and with that he's throwing the ball instead of running. Yeah. He did it yep. here. He, in this game, he he had plenty of time to take some. Right, because hold on real quick. That second to last drive when they go. Uh, three, three and out. It's pass, 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 right? Yeah. The, after after they get shut down, right, they, they throw the ball, they get out to midfield on the third, third to last possession, and then he runs uh, three straight times, takes the ball to Garoppolo's hands, and they punt it away. Mm-hmm. You should have the pick, and then everything kind of falls apart. And now you've got the ball, and you're tied. And he just is like, it turns into a game I, we don't want. Well, it turns into a game you don't want because you let it turn into a game you don't want by the plays you're calling. Yeah, there was no reason to be going down the field at that point. You had throw the screens, and you've yeah. been successful with it multiple times in the game, and you don't even go to it. You don't even give the ball. You don't even give Debo Samuel a chance on 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 that type of a play. Thank you. He bailed you out in Chicago. I was there. Your season was going down the tubes. It was third and a mile. You're like, I don't know. Let's give it a – let's just – instead of taking a knee, instead of just handing off to Jermichael Hasty and capitulating, why don't we just throw a screen at Debo and see what happens? 80 yards later, you're back in business, and now you're going to the NFC Championship game, and you can't let Debo finish off the job? Who knows? That's why he was crying, man. And I felt for him because it felt like he could have done it. He could have dragged this team one more game further, and the Niners didn't give him the opportunity. Wow. All – the work he did for for not that's rough, man. That's so rough. Yeah, no, he was, rough. and that's why I feel like the, it was such a bitter season. And when I sat there listening to the players and coaches say how successful it was, I wanted to puke. It was successful to a degree, but it could have been more successful. And the reason it wasn't was because of a bad decision by Kyle, and that makes it that makes me actually heartbroken. For that's a little strong, but you know what I mean. For Debo, like the people who did enough to make this a Super Bowl team have to look at Kyle and be like. Yeah, I go back and forth. I understand. I understand your direction, and and I yeah. and I I agree I'm not with it. Talking I, about Lance, I'm talking about Debo in the fourth. No, quarter. I yeah, yeah. no, yeah. I agree and disagree with you both. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I I see the direction you're going. I think that again, the the the, the decision making at the end of the the third possession there toward the end when they run the ball those three times, the second and third down runs are the ones that yeah. that, that really bite them. They come back to them, and yeah. Yeah. Those mis- those are mistakes that don't happen if your safety just catches the ball. That is true. Um, but that game wasn't over. I mean, even if the Niners, if Tart gets the ball and they get the ball at, at, at midfield, you don't know what the offense is going to do. That, sure. I, no, but, and I don't and, – and, yeah. and, and, and uh, my comment right there isn't meant to – Absolve um, to say absolve. to say that just absolve, to absolve yeah. Shanahan or right. blame it on on Tart because but you're right. It's factual. It's factual. Yeah, the whole if, game would be way different. If he catches that ball, you're lose. You're the Rams lose probably two and a half or three minutes of of game clock just if the 49ers go three and out, and then they're going to get stuck back deep again. And they're and the game they're still having to score twice. It just completely changes the the complexion of the game. Plus, it puts the momentum on the 49ers side when it you does. throw in the, yeah. you throw in the 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 stop on on second and third down, plus the drop, plus what happens after that on the next play. Those four plays right there, momentum. Yes completely shifts but, to the to the Rams. But the point I want to make is, yes, Tart could have taken the game away from Kyle and ma- made it not about him and his nerves under pressure. But it's, it's disconcerting that even when Kyle's at his best, when he's got a hell of a team, when he's got Debo at, at, or Kittle in, in his prime, that he still finds a way to be his own worst enemy at the crucial moment. I mean, that's what's troubling, I think. Because Kyle in one game or one season will show all the reasons to believe in him and all the reasons to doubt him. Like the same, it's like three hours. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, like I'm not saying fire or, or, or get rid of Kyle, but at the same time, I'm thinking there's something about him that makes me wonder if he'll ever win a championship. I guess, even yeah, though I, I, he's a high level, is he a high level loser? Is that what he like <laughs> in a different maybe, way? I don't know. Maybe he's it, like Andy Reid. Just he'll take him a while to figure it out. It could be, and, you know, and I, I said, you know, there's, there's definitely like, again, it's, there's definitely a lot of blame that can be placed in this game. And you, you have Kyle Shanahan. So you have the X's and O's on Kyle Shanahan and you have the, the, the uh, inability to execute some plays on the, on the players. It's, it's a, it's a 50, 50 split, but I did for me, I want to see, I would, I just don't like the ball, not going to Debo Samuel. Yeah. Yeah. And, or just doing some, anything anything easy they didn't he didn't he didn't give his offense anything e- easy and so you're like no, the offensive line possessions. ruined the game like well that's what happens if you ask those people to block those people like yes i agree <laughs> yeah. yeah but the way i look at it is like let's say the not let's say the warriors 
lost the NBA championship game seven, and they're up 20 at the beginning of the fourth quarter and they lose. Mm -hmm. And you could blame the players. You could blame the coach hard to say Steph Curry only got one shot in the fourth quarter. Well, the coach is getting fired. I'm sorry. It's his job to find a way to get Steph Curry more than one shot in the fourth quarter. I, if you can't do it, some other coach can find a way to do it. That's your job. And to, I'm, not, I'm not saying fire Kyle, but like your, that is your job to make sure that Debo Samuel gets some touches with the, with the season on the line. And you did it all year. You did it yeah. all year. To, to, and you to did go, it in Green Bay the week yeah. before third and seven. You did it, man. I mean, what happened? <laughs> Yeah, to go to, to go to go three uh, to go six to go six plays there at the end of the game, the last two series, and not have the ball get into Debo Samuel's hands is is, is yeah. I, given I given I, given everything, given how you got eleven wins in the last thirteen games, whatever the number was, right? Too. It's it is crazy. It is crazy. EMA beat says you see check was asked if he thought Trey was ready to lead the team. His answer: I'm excited to see what he does in the offseason. Translation: Not really, but hopefully he improves. Concerning, I mean. Give Juszczyk credit. He's extremely loyal to Jimmy Garoppolo. It must be tough for Juszczyk. Also, maybe he feels like this kid has to prove himself and whatever he's done. I mean, also, another thing, him on scout team, the first team offense isn't watching that. So I don't know how much they even saw Trey Lance this year in practice. Yeah, I would say – I don't think it's a – I don't think I would say that that he's saying not really. You know, I, I would say that he just – he needs to go out and he needs to improve his game. There's some things he needs to improve on. And and if he does that, he can come back and, and – and lead him. He's unproven. I mean, they never gave him a chance to 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 compete. They was all Jimmy this year. This year they're going to give, I would imagine, Trey the full off season with the first team offense, and he's going to have to prove himself every step of the way. Mini camp, OTAs, training camp, and I think that's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. I was at the game, and for a game where it was 50-50 split between the fans at worst, it was much louder when the Niners were on offense, probably pumping in noise. Yeah, it was it was it was loud throughout both ways plus that announcer for the rams is absolutely annoying what does he sound He's, like he screams the whole Ugh. game Ugh. <laughs> how'd you get how'd you get home how'd you how'd you get out of sofi what, what do you mean i i had to walk out of inglewood i walked a mile out of town and then i got a taxi and he basically asked how much is your life worth to you and I had <laughs> 40 bucks how'd you get out oh my god that really happened well i had i had a well they the I had the parking yeah oh, I, I had my car. Yeah. Uh, did it take yeah. a while to get out, or did you stay a while right? Like, 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 no, I was right and everything. So by the time by the time I got out, it was empty. Because I try to get out right after the press conferences, go back and do my work from the hotel, and that was a mistake in Inglewood. It was just a, <laughs> it was just a parking lot, the whole city. And anyway, Jack, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Let's find another time this week to do the defense because that'll be interesting too. Yeah, we can. I want to see what happened there. Yeah, let's do it because it yeah. would be – it's very interesting. I know people want to see the defensive stuff, especially this I week, but they've been it. talking about it anyway. So, All right. Thanks let's for watching, it. everyone. I appreciate you guys having the stomach for this. I know it wasn't easy. We'll be back next week, uh, later this week for some more uh, gut-wrenching film. Look forward to it. Thanks, guys.